What is going on my peeps? Your boy Versatile is back with another video. Back here with a surprise video rather. And that is the book cover keyboard case for the Galaxy Tab S6. Yes, you guys have heard me several times talk about how I am just overall not as big of a fan of this keyboard as I was of the Galaxy Tab S4's keyboard. Yes, I think the keyboard itself is nice on here, but it's the case cover piece that has gained so much criticism and skepticism and rightly so because I'm of course not the only one that has actually had its had my concerns and I haven't even had to use it. It took me a, little, a long time to actually decide to go through with this purchase because of the design. Uh, the design of the case cover is not magnetic. It is rather adhesive based or sticky based. And so what that basically means is like it's prone to actually come off the tablet and so that's one of the things i don't like if it was magnetic based it'd be great because it could easily stick onto the tablet a lot better and this piece right here that kind of bends up and down uh, to give you the angle angularity of placing the tablet on a table or a stand or your lap or something like that wouldn't be as big of an issue but it seems like people have had issues with this just simply detaching itself from the key from the ta tablet and then the tablet like falls and this and the third and so it almost puts the tablet in harm's way because the keyboard case is not dependable and so that's what i'm going to be checking out myself is do i have the same problems as what people have seen or what i thought i would see from this keyboard but before we actually place this keyboard on to the tablet make sure you guys ignite that like button subscribe if you haven't already Make sure you guys hit that notification bell so that way you guys stay informed when I drop videos. Now, let's get into the actual keyboard. I've already kind of cleaned this off, so now I can just place it on. And I have my trusty, hefty Sony full frame 85 millimeter here that I will probably use as like a weight counter to kind of like give it as much possible pressure on it to kind of help with sticking it to the keyboard or to the tablet. And so I have Tigris here and I also have my docking station because that was another concern of mine or that i will have that you guys will hear in my next upcoming video which will be my wish list for the tab s7 i'm actually going to leave the case cover on and then see if it will still fit on here with no problems which it actually should given the type of keyboard ca or case cover it is i keep saying keyboard so let's get into that right now and it actually should be relatively easy to peel off um, there's a peel down here, so now do not use blades to open, so it looks like it kind of can just, I guess maybe peel off or something like that. I don't know why they say don't use blades. Oh, okay, there we go. So, if I do something like that, I should be able to, see, I'm going to need a blade just to take that out. So, Tigris, let's go ahead and... Uh, there we go. There we go. Boom. Oh, that's all I needed. So now let's go ahead and wow. Now I don't mind the material that they use to actually build the keyboard from. I actually was a fan of it with like the Tab S4 and everything. And that's why it boggled my mind even more because the Tab S4 is a is a perfect case cover keyboard uh, that you would want for your tablet. Uh, it, it actually pin you know connects in you know and then or latches in rather and then boom you're good to go now here's the keyboard definitely a fan of the keyboard uh the keys seem like they have more travel uh, a little more travel a little more space out as opposed to what they were before and you get a touchpad which is the best part about this keyboard and i heard it was pretty good actually and it comes in handy especially when using dex mode so i think i will be using dex mode a little more often again once i actually put this on here and you got this kind of space in here that you know you might be well i thought maybe you could you know bend it backwards or something or, or something you know what i mean like maybe give it a little bit of an angle when typing so this is the keyboard very nice now, what i've seen when looking for this keyboard case cover as well is that it only comes in black so no matter what color tablet you get, you will get a gray case cover keyboard. And as we see on here, you do have a function button. You got your search button. And the function allows you to adjust your keyboard height, I guess, like your, your software keyboard. Um, I don't know if that has something to do with like full screening or something like that. Home page up, page down, end. And then you got the other functions up here, such as delete, dex, 
then your F or function buttons. So, and then escape. Nice to see an escape there. I heard that the uh, Magic Keyboard does not have that. <laughs> so again, links will be down in the description below if you guys would like one. Um, if you guys still want to check it out. I got it for 160 The retail is 180 And I was hoping I'd catch it when it was even lower, but it just hasn't been the case. Also, DM. Oh, okay. You can also tap in on the, on the, uh, on the touchpad, which it works. And then, of course, DM me at on twitter at versatile mw or on instagram at micro woods eight and i might be able to surprise you with another deal for the keyboard if you're interested so moving on from this now move this on out the way da -da 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 -da. and here is the troublesome <laughs> the troublesome case cover um i'm running out of space up here so i'm just gonna put the keyboard to the side over here for now so they give you basically, I don't know what this is. It doesn't look like directions, but um, nonetheless, it's something you can read. Yeah, adhesive strength may be reduced if the surface of the adhesive pad is dirty. Cleanse the pad gently with a wet towel and then dry the pad completely before attaching the cover. If the temperature is too low, the cover may not be attached firmly to the tablet. Uh, for the best results, attach the cover to the tablet at room temperature. Press the back of the adhesive pad evenly against the tablet and then leave it for an hour before using it. To remove the case cover from the tablet, push the fingers into the gap between the adhesive pad and the tablet, and then lift the cover gently from the outside edge of it. Lifting any other part except the adhesive pad may cause damage to the device. So it seems like once you put it on, leave it on for an hour, I actually might go get a book and do that. Uh, just give me a nice big old book and place it on here and then leave it for an hour and see how it goes Because I actually won't be planning on using my tablet quite yet anyway, so it's kind of works out. So give me one second All right now I'm back. So Basically what I want to do is I guess attach the keyboard Now I'm actually gonna attach this first before I attach the keyboard So it's as simple as actually removing this here once you remove it, then you go ahead, flip it over, and then place it on. This part is a piece that actually bends for you. So that's the interesting part. So what I'm going to do now is remove this ad remove this sticker here, and we're going to place it on. And then once you do, you just want to align with the camera. That was relatively easy. Now, it also felt like it was a, it was actually kind of magnetic. It actually felt like that. So, uh, I just don't know what what's up with this keyboard, guys. Now it's evenly across the bottom. Um, at least it feels like it. So, let me go ahead and actually pick it. Okay. Um, all right. So. It appears like it's on there evenly, no problems. Yep, adhesive pad. I can't, you guys can't, no spacing in there, so it's on here. And then, of course, if I was to go ahead now and attach the keyboard, you got the pogo pins down here at the bottom. Boom, you see how easy that was? And then it connects. And so that's what it looks like right there. You know, and then once you actually take the back piece out right here, you fold it out, it'll sit up. But because I'm gonna follow the directions, I'll be back in about an hour <laughs> to show you guys and, and actually flex it out and whatnot. So for now, what I'm gonna do is actually leave it here just like this. It looks clean otherwise. Um, this piece right here is supposed to be able to fold up. So that, or this little itty bitty piece is kind of magnetic. Is This is the piece that's magnetic that you can fold up and you can put your S pin in right here. So you know, I'm gonna take my S pin, uh, grab this, place it in there, close it back down, and we're good to go. So as I said, I'm gonna grab a book. <laughs> I'm gonna grab a book and go ahead and place it on here, kind of help press down that adhesion and see how it goes. So I'll be all right back. All right, so I'm back here after really almost two hours. Well, yeah, I actually waited two hours, two and a half 
to be exact, about an hour and a half of having my old college book on here, kind of helping to submit this micro suction strip here. Cause this is a part that flaps up and then this piece here creases up for the S pen. We're gonna see if it has some strength. Let's see if we're gonna have any issues right now. I did a lot of reading on other people's issues on Samsung's forum sites uh, and their community tabs about this. And one of the things that I didn't know that I didn't also see was that supposedly there's another like really slim like film that covers that the adhesive micro suction that might be also prohibiting it from successfully suctioning on. And I've heard that there's a lot of people that have had success actually with the, the case on the tablet. Like once they had it on and did it, it doesn't came, it doesn't come off. And one guy said that he went as far as to say like it actually, he actually had trouble taking it off one time. I've seen other people say that they've been able to like heat the inside, you know, before applying it, it took like a blow dryer, heated the actual uh, micro suction and then applied it because one of, as you guys heard me reading the directions, one of the things that actually takes away or loosens or weakens the suction is cold temperatures. So as long as you're using this with relatively good temperature, like it's not freezing cold, nothing like that, the suction should help. And that's probably why heating the film just a little bit may have helped those people in those cases. Now I haven't done any of that other than take off that, that primary film cover that you guys saw, and then immediately went to apply this onto the tablet. So upon doing so, you see it cuts on because of, I think this, this magnetic strip here that, you know, kind of helps the, uh, the tablet, you know, front from actually touching the, the keys and then you can take, okay, let's see here. All right. So upon actually trying to, all right. So, so far seems like there's no issues. Um, as you guys can see here, I have it folded up. Now I wish you could actually maybe, you know, pump the keyboard up a little bit. You know, I got all this spacing in here. So that's one of the things I, kind of wish you could kind of microsoft you know surface pro 7 or microsoft you know the surface go kind of bump it to kind of give the keyboard an angle that's one thing that i kind of wish you could do but so far it doesn't seem like anything's wrong and as you guys can see the buttons work now trying to get my fingerprint to actually touch on here there we go so start samsung dex I will be doing so off camera. And the nice thing about that is instead of having to do it there, what I can actually do is do control and then hit the DEX key that's right here. And then it goes into DEX just like that. <clears throat> so I don't have my DEX set up on my tab at six just because I haven't actually used it. Um, oh, okay, actually, I guess I did set it up to a degree. I just haven't actually used it, used it. So that's one thing, but outside of that, I like what I, I, I so far it feels like it's working and the nice part about it is you don't have to keep the keyboard on here so if there's times you're just using this to watch stuff and you're not gonna dock it uh the, you don't need the keyboard just disconnect the key the keyboard and then just use the case cover as a stand and then you're good to go so I, I like that I like that a lot actually so yeah I so far it seems like everything's working we'll see I, of course I'm gonna come back in about a week or so in terms of my follow-up this let you guys know have i had any problems with the keyboard so guys definitely stay tuned for that but for now i think i can leave dex by doing the same thing yep so i can do that leave dex and i'm straight so that's cool i like that hopefully no apps closed <clears throat> but hey let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about the galaxy tab s6 and the keyboard have you tried it have you gotten it are you looking forward to see how what I, how I've dealt with it to make your decision? Comment section is open for discussion. But again, if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys ignite that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell. So that way you guys stay informed when I drop videos. With your boy Versal signing out, and until the next video, wait for. It.